Uh, let's talk IBM Quantum Summit, Pat. Putting in the show notes, a great piece by Paul Smith Goodson, contributor, more insights and strategy contributor group at Forbes. He kind of went out and, and, and gave a quick uh, and dirty. I was actually in New York City for the IBM Quantum Summit. Um, uh, SVP and head of IBM Research, Dario Gill, uh, and VP Jay Gambata kind of kicked it off. And, you know, there was a lot of in-depth. I mean, look, if you get around quantum, it is super technical, it is super complex, and it is really, really nerdy. But having said that, what I think this event that got me excited was the company leaned into making quantum real, making quantum uh, uh, addressable. A lot of talk about kind of the entanglement of quantum and classical computing. Um, of course, the big moment was the launch in the, of Osprey. Um, you know, that's the, the company's newest, um, I'm trying to use it, 433 uh, qubit. Now, Pat, you and I have really been talking about this since, was it Falcon? I mean, there's been three, four exactly. iterations. It's happened really quickly as they've moved through the paces to Eagle. To, it's, they're basically quadrupled from Eagle, which I remember you and I talking about just like a year ago. Um, you know, the company is focusing on, you know, the, the uh, coherence and increasing that significantly. It's focusing on ecosystem, getting the right partners around it, getting research around it. And then, of course, bringing real commercial opportunities, because I don't think IBM gets much credit in terms of the valuation of the company for how much they're putting into this particular space and the opportunity that it's creating. I know we're really short on time, Pat, but I just wanted to kind of come away and use this platform to say, look, we got to give credit where credit's due. You know, we've kind of had this big pivot on IBM over the last year. The company's getting its core business right. And I think it's getting things right here with Quantum in terms of being able to explain the incredible technical complexities of doing Quantum, but also being able to start to show how Quantum is going to be able to meaningfully interact with classical computing to start to help real companies solve some of the most complex problems that classical computing tends to struggle with in isolation. So. We'll have more on that. Read the article in the show notes, Pat. I'll leave you the last word because I know we gotta we got to take this baby home. Yeah, this uh, show, uh, this summit was two parts. It was affirmation and what the company is doing in, in Osprey. It was um, uh, giving an update on error reduction, uh, giving an update uh, on uh, Kiskit runtime primitives, um, an update on um, dynamic circuits, uh, and which are our an update on quantum safe, but the new thing was this notion of quantum quantum centric computing. I had the chance to talk to uh, uh, the head of uh, quantum at IBM, Jay Gambetta. You can see the uh, video on my YouTube. I also put it in the show notes, but essentially how quantum computing and traditional computing can work together uh, in, in the future. And that's really what it's like, just like a GPU, you have a quantum accelerator that through APIs, you can create applications and, and usable stuff. So uh, they're on track for what they committed at IBM Think, and I'll leave it at that.